In 2016, it became stunningly clear that we are warming the climate and there are dire consequences. I'm in a tiny village in Alaska about 30 miles from the Arctic Circle and I'm sure that it looks cold out here, but locals are actually complaining about the heat. The Arctic is warming about twice as fast as the rest of the planet and in mid-November this entire region was 35 degrees Fahrenheit above normal. It's not just here, this is happening all around the world. 2016 was actually the hottest year on record. This spring, a drought in India was so intense that it reportedly led some farmers to commit suicide. In May, monster wildfires forced 88,000 people in Canada to flee. In July, a city in Kuwait hit a stunning 129 degrees Fahrenheit, or 54 Celsius. That month was named the hottest ever, until August tied it. Scientists are getting better at tying these events to us. A flood in Louisiana killed 13 people in August. Scientists say that event was made 40% more likely because of climate change. Here in Shishmaref, locals voted that same month to abandon their village, which their ancestors have lived in for 400 years. The permafrost is melting and the coast is crumbling. Are we causing all of the bad weather? No. But we are burning fossil fuels, which is heating up the planet. And that puts our fingerprints on the extreme weather more than ever before. Sometimes it's hard to know or understand what is fact and what is fiction when people, especially pundits, start talking about climate change. But if you look at the data from 2016 compared to other years, it's easy to see that climate change is happening and it's been happening for some time now. Each of the 16 months leading up to September 2016 broke the global average high temperature record. September became the first month not to break a monthly all-time high in nearly a year and a half. Fact, during September, the Arctic sea ice also reached its lowest extent ever, and much of the perennial sea ice, ice that lasts longer than a year, has declined since 1984. That means the Arctic is relying on ice that melts completely in the summer and refreezes in the winter, which can have serious consequences. The disappearance of older ice makes the Arctic Ocean sea ice cap more vulnerable to further decline. Fact, for the first time, Antarctic sea ice is also at record low levels. Just a few years after reaching record highs for the extent of southern sea ice, the ice is lower than it has ever been for this time of year as it heads towards its yearly minimum during the southern summer. This shows that the global temperature rise has had far-reaching effect from one pole to the other. Fact, in July 2016, the oceans had risen 84.8 millimeters since satellites began tracking sea level rise in 1993. This is a rate of 3.4 millimeters a year. It might not seem like a huge change, but we have already started to see the effects in a lot of coastal cities like Miami, which deals with inland flooding every time there's a full moon. And finally, possibly the most important fact of all is related to the levels of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. In 2013, these levels broke 400 parts per million for the first time, an ominous milestone, and have continued to increase even more. This number is far higher than historical data, which shows no spike above 300 parts per million until the 1950s. And that is why 97% of scientists...